My name is Mitra Arthur, and I'm with the Explore the Arts program here at the Kennedy Center. That's the Adult Art Education program. We want to thank you so much for joining us this afternoon for our Bhangra class with DJ Reka. The Bhangra class is presented as a part of the Maximum India Festival. The Maximum India Festival is presented in co cooperation with the Indian Council for Cultural Relations, New Delhi, and the Embassy of India, Washington, D.C. The festival is presented with the support of the HRH Foundation, PepsiCo, Tata and Tata Consultancy Services. Major support for the festival is provided by David and Alice Rubenstein. Uh, since this is a class, we do want to encourage you all to kind of stretch out a bit. And we are happy to see that there are a lot of little ones here. We do want you all to just be mindful of that when you're dancing. So please join me in welcoming DJ Reka. Tape down the wires, huh? Great. How's everybody doing today? Whoa, I blinked and you guys doubled in size. Okay, so we're gonna make the best of this. It's a little crowded here. So what I'm gonna do is give you a little quick presentation on Bhangra, the music and the dance, and then we're gonna demonstrate, demonstrate it musically and physically. So, just, just give me a second here. All right, so Bhangra is a music and a dance, and it comes, so we know we're on the same page about what we're talking about. It comes from South Asia, specifically from a region called Punjab, which is an area divided by India and Pakistan. So you want a close-up of South Asia, and then further uh, a close-up of Punjab, which is the area that um, India and Pakistan were divided by in 1947. The music, however, in the tradition predate the modern states of India and Pakistan. So it is actually, Bhangra is actually one form of Punjabi folk music that uses different kinds of instruments. But the word over, t the word over time has come to sort of mean or represent several rhythms. So technically there is a very specific Bhangra rhythm, but there are many different rhythms of Bhangra. But now the words have just over time evolved. In the 1950s and 60s, folks from Punjab region, India and Pakistan, moved to the UK and brought their music and their traditions with them. And in the 90s and further, that music traveled to America and now it's international. So I'm just gonna highlight a couple of distinctive instruments in, in, in Bhangra music that we listen to. So Melinda, can you give me some help here? Everyone give it up for Melinda of Dole Nation. Nice shirt, shirts are for sale. Nice shirt, nice shirt. Baby tees too. You didn't have to buy it. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right. So the first instrument I'm going to highlight is an algoza. It's actually just a double flute, and it's often played at the beginning of a track. It's sort of um, one side is a drone and one side provides a little melody. So we're going to hear the algoza. The technical rhythm that you were hearing there was called the laharia. Um, and so that, that's the algoza. And as you see in this picture, uh, the, the, the person playing the instrument is sort of traditionally dressed, and there's some ornamentation around the instrument, which is common. The second instrument I'm going to highlight these is called the chimta. Now, literally, chimta means tongs. And um, they come in various sizes, and the little ringlets around them add, add uh, percussion. So it's a hand instrument, and it adds just a little bit of flavor. And in a processional, when there are live musicians and live dolies, drummers, there's uh, people uh, just playing along. So we'll hear 
We heard an example of the chimta right now. So. And that rhythm is a very simple child rhythm called Pumnia. Here's another uh, picture of the chimta. As you can see, the guys in the middle have big ones, and there's other drummers there. They're tra dressed traditionally. A lot of these instruments have vari variations and various names for different regions, and they can be traced to many parts of Punjab and even further, further east. So the next instrument is called the tumbi. The tumbi is a single stringed instrument also called the ektar, which, ektara, which literally means one string. It's about yay long and it's plucked. And it often provides the rhythmic component to a lot of Bhangra and Punjabi folk tracks. It's very distinctive. And in a lot of the sounds of Bhangra that is produced today, that's the more uh, mixed stuff, however you want to say it, that's produced very much uh, with hip hop and dance hall and other electronic music influences. The tumbi is often sampled and used and is very distinctive and it's been used in, uh, by a lot of hip hop producers or some, some effect of it. And people often mistake it for a sitar sound, which it's not. So let's hear the tumbi. Just for fun, here's another picture. Um, you could see there's an Algoza player and a Tumbi player. But we've been not talked about the most obvious instrument which you're witnessing, which is called the dole. So let's talk about the dole a little bit. The dole is a two-sided drum worn around the thing, worn around the neck. This is Melinder, a person playing a dole is called a doli, just add an I. This is the daga, which is the bass, hit it. Let me hit it once. This is the billy, which is I, the, the snare. So it's like a, it's like it's like kick snare. So kick snare. Let's, let's give it an example. So, we we'll leave anything out? That's pretty much it. Okay. So all these instruments that we've been demonstrating, uh, at least two of them, the Tumi and the Algoza, are available as iPhone apps as well. Um, <laughs> it, some of them are better than others, but uh, we've been playing around with a couple. But um, talk is cheap. How about we get to some dancing? Everybody ready? All right. So I'd like to present you Rina Shah. Give it up for Rina who's documenting this day. All right, Rena, give me one second. Check, check. Check, check. All right, how's everyone doing today? Are we ready to do some Bhangra dancing? All right, well, what I need everyone to do is to lift your arms up in the air like this. And Excellent. If, if I may interject. Sure. Um, please don't step on people that are shorter than you. And if there is uh, a little bit of room in the back, if everyone could take a nice big step back, actually, so there is a little bit of room to dance, that would be great if you could. Um, just to spread out a little bit, because I know it's very, very packed here, and with Bangla dancing, we need a little bit of uh, leg room. So see if you can uh, just swing to the side. You've got some arm movement here. All right, is everybody comfortable? All right. 
So with Bhangra dancing, the most important thing is your shoulder. So if you would, shoulders up and down, please. Excellent. Now your hands. Your hands can either be nice and relaxed like this. You can put them in an L shape if you'd like. Or you can point your fingers up in the air. And you can point out this way. And you can point out that way. And you can put them both up in the air like this. Great. All right. So what I need everyone to do is spread your feet apart about six inches to a foot. And just go like this for me. And lean to one side. And look up this way. Center. And let's go this way. Great. Now, what I'm going to do is, you can put your hands down, give them a little rest. What we're going to do is, we're going to learn two small dance routines, and then we'll open up the dance floor with DJ Reka spinning, and we'll have a big Bangara dance party. All right? Excellent. So what we're going to do is, for the first one, my first routine, we're just going to warm up. So what I need everyone to do is, we're going to learn three steps, and when we do it with the music, we're going to keep doing the three steps over and over again. Got it? All right, so the first step, Arms are going up in the air, and it's very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to walk forward for four counts and back for four counts. <laughs> I know. If you want, because I know if that this... If you don't have room, just walk in place. Yeah, you could just walk in place like this and just keep doing it. It's going to be two counts of eight. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, back. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three. Three, four, back, five, six, seven, eight. You got the first step. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm going to modify the next step since we don't have a lot of room to move this way and that way. I was going to do this, but instead, let's just put our arms up like this. And we'll just go this way for four counts. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Switch, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four. Switch, five, six, seven, eight. You got to step two here? You good? All right, all right, all right. Third step. What we're going to do, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What we're going to do is... Sometimes when we do Bhangra dancing, we dance with handkerchiefs. So, yes, imaginary handkerchiefs. Let's pull them out from somewhere. If you got them, put them up in the air. Put them up over here and over here and down low and the other side. But instead of doing this, we're going to go one, two, switch, three, four, up high, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. So three steps, walking forward, side to side, and then this, and we're just going to keep repeating it with the music. Be aware of the people around you. We don't want any accidents to happen. But Bhangra dancing is supposed to be fun. So I want smiles, 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 smiles. I want everyone to enjoy yourself. Are you ready to do it with the music? Yeah. Can I get a bala bala? Everybody in with the music, Reka, let's hit it. Here we go.
Bale, bale. All right. So that was just a little warm up. You feel warmed up? Yeah. Woohoo! Excellent. All right. So we're going to move on to our second routine. With this, it's just three steps. Okay? Again, three steps. We're always going to come back to this step I'm about to teach you. So I need arms up in the air like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to throw two, three, four. Again, throw two, three, four. Throw two, three, four. And throw two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can even lean and go down with it. Great. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So we're always going to come back to that step, all right? But the first step here, arms are out in front of you. I'm going to be hopping across the stage. You can do this in your place. And it's going to go one, two, three, four. And you're going to go five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, 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 five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to go to this step. We throw two, three, four, do, 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 ba, ba, ba. All right. Then I call this next step the Reka. Give it up for DJ Reka. All right. The step I love that can't, I can't really do. But she loves this step. So the arms are going like this. If you could just mirror me here. Excellent. And you're going to throw. Go one, two, switch. Three, four, switch. Five, six, switch. Seven, eight. The footwork can be done in two ways. The arm that's up can be the foot that kicks out. For some people, it's easier to do that. But it's supposed to be done opposite. So it really should look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But if you want, you can go like this. One, two, switch, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys want to do that one, maybe? <laughs> All right, just be aware of the people around you. And again, I'm going to count you through it. When in doubt, come up and look at me. And we're going to keep switching between those three steps here. In the beginning, when she starts the music, we are going to freestyle. So can I get a beat here? going to freestyle, you can just stay in your spot, hang out, put your arms up in the air, enjoy the music. You can do the turn step that we just did, or whatever you feel the way the music moves you, all right? Then I will count you in, and we'll start with this step. Then from there, we're going to go like this. Then we switch to the Reka step. Yes, she's got her own step. And then we're gonna, th and then we're gonna go back to this and we keep switching. But I think we should try it with the music. Okay. What do I need to see right now from everybody? Arms up in the air. Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Very nice over there. I love my front row here. Give it up. Woo! You're freestyling. Yeah. Every hip hop right here. Yeah. 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 This way it started right here. Here we go. Yeah. This way yeah. yeah. Get up. 
first they hit y'all with the hunger. She got me hypnotized the way she dancing to the bunker. When my day CP, what I came for the bunker. Refugees fresh off the boat, and I do the bunker. Now hold up, with the drink in your hand. I'm here. The bunker got me wildin' one foot in the air. Oh, yeah, the belly button, the belly button, the belly button, the belly button, the ਪਾਕ ਜਲੇ ਦੀ ਤਾਰੀ ਪਾਕ ਜਲੇ ਦੀ 
ਤਾਰੀ ਤੇ ਅੱਖ ਮਟਕਾਉਣੀ ਪੈਣੀ ਐ ਅੱਖ ਮਟਕਾਉਣੀ ਪੈਣੀ ਐ ਜੇ ਨੱਚਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਤੇਰਾ ਨਾਲ ਤਾਂ ਬੋਲੀ ਪਾਉਣੀ ਪੈਣੀ ਐ ਜੇ ਨੱਚਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਤੇਰਾ ਨਾਲ ਤਾਂ ਬੋਲੀ ਪਾਉਣੀ ਪੈਣੀ ਐ
Check, check, one, two. How's everybody doing out there? All right. I want everyone to turn around and dance with the person in front of you. Because now it's just an open floor dance party. Even Michael Jackson likes punk.
pleasure to be here at the Kennedy Center and to be part of this festival, especially to the staff and the crew that have taken tremendous care of us the all, all, um, ever since we've been here. Thank you all very much. We hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. My name is DJ Reka, and I was told to say this. There is, There are CDs and these nice t-shirts for sale. Give it up for Rina Shah. And Melinda Torre of the Do of Dole Nation, and you know we don't need all these fancy electronics. Sometimes you just need the drum. So we're gonna take our last 30 seconds, and Melinda, just rock out and dance to them. Just follow the rhythm of the drummer. Thank you all very much. <laughs>